Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Grit, Give, Recognize, Implement Time podcast. I'm your host, Steve Nathanson, CEO and founder of Strive for More. Today, we're going to build off of last week's conversation where we dove into creating purpose, mission, and vision statements in this theme of strategy to now address how do I create a strategy for my team. And the fundamental building blocks are starting where we started last week. Know those statements, know the purpose, the mission, the vision. There are guiding north stars for our strategy because everything that we do strategically should be in alignment with fulfilling our purpose, right? Our mission, enacting that mission and creating the future, that vision statement that we crafted. There are fundamental guiding north stars and a point to start with. So once we know essentially what to stay with an alignment around, then it's also good to know where are we now? Where do we want to be? And what's the time frame we're looking at? So again, where are we now? Point A. Where do we want to be? Point B. And what's the time frame we're looking for to get to point B? This is very good to know because it's often easier to actually work backwards versus forwards. What I mean by that is if I know point B, I may then be able to backtrack. Okay, well, if I want to get to point B, what reasonably would I say if that's a five-year time frame, need to accomplish in three years, need to accomplish in the next year, need to accomplish in, say, the next quarter, the next month? kind of work backwards, chunking this broader, larger theme up into smaller, shorter, achievable chunks. And that's one other key is we can start broad and then narrow down from there. So let's go through kind of a real world example. Let's say as an organization, we are currently still hardware based and we are an on-site provider for our service and we have infrastructure we need to go install on site for our customers. Let's say now we wanna switch to a cloud-based model. What does that look like? Let's say the goal is to fully be cloud-based in five years. How do we chunk that up? So point A, I know we're wholeheartedly infrastructure hardware-based. Point B, I want to be cloud-based. My time frame: five years. And that's aligned with, say, providing um, top-notch cybersecurity software to our customers, right? Trends with the, the industry, where are we headed, where are we currently? I think that type of strategy is going to align with that. So how do we break that down into narrow chunks? Maybe when I say I want to be cloud-based, the very first thing that kind of comes to mind is, well, we're not there yet. Maybe we need to figure out as a company, what does that actually look like? So perhaps first year of this strategy is to figure that out. Do the research, create that project, uh, excuse me, product and vet it out. So maybe by the end of year one, we want a viable cloud solution to offer to, to our customers. Then perhaps by end of year two, we want to have rolled this out and tested it with a small percentage of clients and customers to perhaps further vet out, is it viable? Uh, Learn from any lessons we may need to know and adjust from there. And let's say it's 10% of our customer base and we've got 50 customers. We're looking at say five customers. We would do that with by the end of year two. So maybe from there, first fundamental two years is knowing that we're gonna do all the upfront research and things, we're gonna get the product put together, we're going to test it, refine, and then be able to successfully kind of grow and catapult from there. So that leaves us three years, maybe by the end of year three, we want 40% customers converted, end of year four, we want 70%, end of year five, we want 100%, right? That is an easy kind of way 
to essentially create a strategy, a broad vision, and then be able to narrow it down in more manageable chunks. Once we do that and we set those milestones and those objectives, then we can then dive a little bit further into what's actually going to help us do that. So when I talked about the upfront work, right, the first year of vetting that out, part of that's going to be knowing the players involved. Is my team actually set up to do that? Do we have the knowledge base? Are there gaps there? Not a knock on who we have currently, but do we have the knowledge to actually create the cloud product or do we need to bring in external players? Do we have a team structure that supports it? Do we have the policies, procedures, and process in place to do that? These are all great questions to ask to know the players, know who's on your team, be able to play to their strengths, fill knowledge gaps, and realign to that strategy. That's actually a fundamental part of executing, and my dog agrees, <laughs> of executing strategy is knowing what do we need to actually put that into place. And that goes into the strategy because that doesn't flip overnight. We've got to roll that out. And that could be part of that first year in phases and a Q1 and a Q2 and a Q3 and a Q4. What are those intermediate milestones we're going to hit? So this is how we essentially break down our strategy. One other quick thing that I will share, which I think is really important, is in terms of conveying strategy and creating it, it's always helpful to have that visually and not just up here, but actually out on paper, some graphics, something that's easy to understand. And that's where roadmaps come into play, timelines come into play. However you wanna create that visually, it's a good idea to have your timeframes, your high level goals and metrics and milestones that are on there. And it makes it a lot easier for people to understand and be able to see where we're going because we're very visual people. So in short, this is how we create a strategy. We start with knowing what we are aligning to, those statements we talked about earlier, purpose, mission, and vision. Want to know where we are today, where we want to get to, what's the time frame, and then starting broader and then narrowing down our focus into shorter manageable chunks to be able to back into creating that strategy. So I hope you enjoyed today. I uh, look forward to continuing this conversation in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna have a full arc uh, around strategy for you as leaders and organizations. So until the next time, be the movement in your life. Uh -huh.